Adapt version 3.2 goes BIM and reinvents RC design. Now you can intelligently design your reinforced concrete slabs and mat foundations. Model, analyze, optimize, and document your reinforcement designs using fully editable 3D rebar objects to streamline your design process. This video highlights key features of the Adapt Builder RC design process for slabs and mat foundations. Our products are highly innovative and are designed to make you more productive. You can utilize either a DWG or a Revit structure model by importing it into Adapt Builder. You can start your RC design process with the Revit model by exporting the model. You are given the flexibility to export specific levels, structural components such as walls and columns as well as loads, and even load cases. You import your previously exported model from Revit into Adapt Builder. Again, the flexibility is yours to choose which level, components, loads, and load cases you wish to import. Once imported, you can verify that all structural components are available as actual 3D objects, including all their properties such as material. The imported loads can also be verified. Prior to analysis, you are given the option to add any configuration of base reinforcement, which will be considered during design, resulting in only additionally calculated rebar that is needed on top of your predefined base rebar. For example, you can add a bottom mesh for your entire slab. In our example, we define a bottom mesh which consists of number 4s at 12 inches on center in both directions. You can also define a mesh reinforcement for specific locations. In our example, a top mesh is created around an elevator shaft using number 4s at 12 inches on center in both directions. The option is also available to add isolated bars where necessary. To calculate the reinforcement, our program generates a 3D finite element mesh based on which you can also observe deflections and reactions in the slab, as well as the design moments from which the rebar is calculated. As you can observe, the rebar can be generated with a simple click of the mouse. The required rebar which was previously generated are 3D editable objects. 
Let's take a look at the top bars in the X direction. Due to the fact that these are 3D editable objects, their properties can be observed and dynamically changed as desired. Note, as the orientation of the bar changes, the number of bars is automatically updated. Not only can you edit individual rebar groups, you can also edit several groups of bars simultaneously. The new Builder version 3.2 features the ability to define rebar libraries consisting of standard bar lengths for top and bottom bars. When generating the rebar, you have a choice between using the calculated rebar lengths or the standard bar lengths of the active rebar library. In our example, the rebar was generated using the calculated lengths. You still have the option to select either sum or all of the rebar to apply the active rebar library lengths. The calculated rebar lengths are rounded up to equivalent bar lengths in the active rebar library. Since the rebar is represented by editable 3D rebar objects, you also have the option to change the rebar arrangements. In our example, we will change grouped reinforcement to distributed reinforcement. You also have the option to globally change the rebar positions. For example, you can adjust the rebar lengths and center top bars over supports. As a next step, you can execute the calculation of crack deflection. You can then observe the uncracked and cracked deflection of the structure, as well as the reduced stiffness ratios in the X and Y direction. At the completion of the design, the model can then be re-imported into Revit. In Adapt Builder, you will export the geometry and loads into one data file and the rebar information into a second data file. In Revit, you would then import the geometry and load information as well as the rebar information which was generated in Adapt Builder. Even at the time of re-importing, our integration link gives you the flexibility to once again select which levels, components, loads, and load cases you would like to re-import. The rebar imported into your Revit model consists of real Revit rebar objects, which can also be observed in plan view of your selected level. 
For all rebar objects, you can view the properties including the quantity of reinforcing bars. Let's create a section through your level to look at the rebar in your slab at elevation. You can zoom into the level which contains the imported rebar. This section shows the top and bottom rebar which was created in Adapt Builder. It is also possible at this time to view the rebar properties. For drafting purposes, you can tag any of the rebar objects. ADAPT provides the only bidirectional data integration with Revit, which allows the exchange of intelligent rebar information.